Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new here. This is Tiffany and today I am sharing with you guys a random haul. You guys know I love deals. I love being able to go in a store and find stuff marked down to next to nothing. So um, I slacked for a few weeks and didn't go because life is so busy, but I decided to start making it a point to go in Kroger. Um, I check Walmart when I go in there. I don't, I don't, I try not to go to Walmart because Walmart is our most expensive for where we live. So if I do go in Walmart, I check the bread. Um, like they have a bread uh, cart. So I always check that and see if it's worth buying because they always mark that stuff down. I'm sure, I, I think every Walmart does because I've been in ones um, in other states and they always mark it down. And I always check the clearance out, but it's never very good at our local one. So I always check that out. And then I always check out... Um, <clears throat> the Kroger clearance aisle um they have randomness in there I check out their meat first first thing in the morning I go early morning because a lot of you have asked me that I go early morning I check out the meat in the clearance because it's just a little end part where um the the butcher the guy working in the meat department is clearing the meat so they do that and I go through that um and then I also check the produce but it's not like it used to be and I'll check the health food aisles because honestly where we live a lot of people don't buy as much of the health food stuff so they push it out a lot easier um so anyway i like to check all those and you can always check in the aisles too just browse through and see what's marked down on clearance because they will stick things in the shelves you just have to look for them but um it was funny because when i went today or the other day um there was a guy in there and he said you're taking my meat uh so i laughed i was like what are you talking about i only took two packs i actually left like an entire case full because i'm trying to behave and not over buy but the deals were awesome on the meat today and the guy said um, he goes every single morning and picks it up um, they don't need it they've got freezer fulls but they pick it up just because the prices are so cheap and they know they'll use it eventually so you guys if you're trying to stock up if you're trying to save money look for the deals don't go out of your way buying stuff if you're never going to use it because that's how you waste money but if you can find deals at rock bottom prices and you can put it in your pantry you can find a way to store it in your freezer or um, prolong the shelf life definitely do it because in the long run those little bits of things will add up and you can make meals out of them and that is the way to stay ahead of the game but let's go ahead and get started guys sorry for the super long intro i just wanted to talk for a minute let's go ahead and get started and i'll see you at the end Okay guys, here is the miniature haul from Kroger. I was actually controlled and didn't buy the other stuff. I was gonna buy excess, but since we have a freezer full, I didn't. And there was actually a guy in there shopping and he said, hey, you're taking my meat. But he was joking because he said he comes in every single day and buys up the meat in the morning and throws it in the freezer. That way, even if they don't, he said they don't even need it, they just keep it for later. So they do it every day. I do it once a week. Um, but anyway, here's what I got. They had a bunch of packs of these, but I am literally have my freezer full Once we start camping if we do that this year We have a very busy summer if we start camping or we start cooking out a lot Then I will probably replenish that even more because we make burgers all summer long as you guys know Sorry, Marlo's barking in the background. So 286 for the 80% lean um, me and Ryan are trying to eat healthier, so I have a lot of meat in the freezer, but it's more of the 80% lean, so I wanted to get a thing of the 92% lean, just because, one, I think it tastes better. I love Laura's Lean Beef. These were a little higher than they normally are. Some of the packs were over $5, so I wasn't going to buy that, but since they're normally like 9 in there, which is insane, I just got one, because you know me and my taco bowls. I'll make those. Chicken, I was meant to get two packs of this, because this is the last day of the sale chicken is $1.94 a pound if you use your card so this was actually only like seven dollars and something for this pack they didn't they only had some clearance chicken thighs of the higher brand and some clearance um organic blah 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 stuff but it was super pricey even marked on clearance and i do not eat chicken thighs so i didn't get that so i got this to prep out some food I thought these looked fun. I've bought like other things I haven't still haven't used, but I've got them in my stockpile. Um, but I thought these looked fun. They weren't as cheap as they normally are. They were two dollars, but still, I really, really like the way that looked on the picture. So I thought I might combine these this week and make something new. This was fun. I didn't want to go overboard. They had about they had a bunch of these on clearance. Um, they were dollar seventy four, 
for the mini pie crusts. I hadn't seen these before and they must have not gone over very well because they're trying to clear them out, but I thought they were really cute. They actually reminded me of my friend Nicole Burgess who's been making like little mini pies lately, um, protein pies. So I got these because they're already pre-cut and you just put them in your muffin pan. I actually might go in and get some more of those because I really like the idea of this for like mini chicken pot pies or mini sloppy joes. Um, usually I use a biscuit, but I thought these are thinner and that's cool. So I got two of those for $1.74. Um, I just ran through the produce. Didn't look very exciting. Like I said, I told you guys the story about the produce and how all the rules have changed in there. <laughs> so a lot of times Aldi is a better option um, because the produce that is marked down is usually rotten now and that's what the case was today. So I did get these. I still go through and look for fruit is never ever marked down because it's all sourced fresh in their store so they don't mark it down um, because they replenish it daily. They only use a certain amount. But the avocados like items like that that are in that aisle they will mark down so these are good and you can freeze these i've frozen avocado mashed avocados many a times um so I normally this was on my list of to buy this week anyway and this is even better brand so i got these for dollar 60 each they used to be 99 cents actually technically these should be marked a little bit more down but those guys were busy this morning um these were on sale the guy was actually restocking these these were $4.50. They had been $12, I think, for this box, which is crazy. But um, I may get more if we like these because it was $4.50, and that's 12 burgers. And I know it's fake burgers, but Ryan actually has come around to these now, and Gavin will eat them if he doesn't know what he's eating. Um, I picked these up just for the purpose that I like these a lot. I know you guys are going to say, why not just eat chicken? But these are $1.29. Um, they were half off on sale this week. They were marked down even more as closeout because they're getting ready to put a new new product in place of that in that aisle. So um, the guy told me they were clearing these out to put the new ones in. So this is all they had left. These were $1.29 each. And they're just healthy fake nuggets. But anyway, all of this stuff, you guys, and like I said, I had, they had carts and carts of clearance items. But I was really good. I didn't buy things that I didn't think we wouldn't use. And I didn't buy things. Some of the clearance stuff just wasn't worth buying. We had vitamins and all kinds of hair products and things. But sometimes you got to be careful. Like the almonds that I got last week for a dollar something, they were four dollars and something, which is still a good deal. But I didn't need them, so I didn't buy them. So all of this was after tax, thirty six dollars. So not too bad considering meat is such an expensive thing. So there is all that, guys. Okay, you guys, I ran back in Kroger after we went to Aldi, so I'm going to share this. Chicken was still on sale. I forgot to use my coupon this morning, but it was $2 off, so I got this for like $7 or $3 off, so this was $7. I got another pack of the Boca Burgers because they were $4.20, and I realized how good that was for $12, and they had tons, so I got another thing of those. And then I got two more boxes of these because they had like three or four left, and I thought I was thinking about it today, and I really liked the idea of them, so I grabbed another one. So this was $15 for this little tiny haul, you guys. Okay, my beautiful friends, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Say hey in the comments. And I will see you guys in the very next one. Love you all. Bye.